Well, hi there, and welcome to the next look at another constellation. Today we're going to look at the constellation of Auriga, the charioteer. Now this is an interesting constellation, apart from the fact my business is named by it. Auriga is a prominent constellation. It's circumpolar, just, meaning at least one of its stars are always visible in the northern skies. The brightest star, Capella, has a magnitude of 0.1, and it's the sixth brightest star in the sky, and it's a yellow star. It contains Messiers 36, 37 and 38, which are groups of young stars which have been formed in the Taurus Auriga molecular cloud. And Auriga is identified in Greek mythology as a charioteer, but he's never shown with a chariot. Instead, he's shown carrying a goat. Yes, strange, but true. In fact, Capella is known as the goat star. And its name translates as she-goat. In Greek mythology, Auriga was sort of the son of Vulcan, who was the first person to attach horses to a chariot. But Greek mythology has no explanation whatsoever why he's holding a goat and not with a chariot. So the goat was probably a separate constellation and they maybe merged it because it was very close. Who knows? Other stars are Menkalinan, which has a magnitude of 1.9. And Auriga is quite easy to see. Uh, it's one of those stars that's up best during the autumn and winter months. And it looks a little bit, as you can see, like a, a sort of rectangle with a bit sticking off the side. But to say Capella, the yellow star, is very, very easy to see in the skies. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at Auriga the charioteer, um, or the goat carrier. Clear dark skies, stay safe, see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>